Hi, my name is Katherine Redmond and I'm going to be speaking with you today about docking and undocking boats. Backing a vessel into a slip stern in is the most difficult maneuver in boating. For many vessels, reverse is the least controllable gear and this is compounded by the fact that we usually have less favorable visibility when backing our vessel. Therefore, it is critical to focus on the essential elements and forget the others. Concentrate on aligning one side of the vessel only and controlling the bow. In this graphic, the skipper needs to align properly with the finger pier, forgetting about the other vessel in the slip. The line handler's job is to keep a fender in hand in case you get too close to the other vessel. If you align properly with the finger pier, you will not run into the other vessel. What sabotages most stern in attempts is the bow going out of control. Even in slight wind or current, the bow can ruin your alignment, both from the effects of the wind and current or from leeway, that outward swing from your turn. So keep a close watch on the bow while you are backing so that it doesn't ruin a perfect landing. If conditions are calm, you want to make sure you look forward and backwards before backing your vessel in. The goal here is to get your vessel into position four so you can back straight in. Too often, novice helmsmen turn too early at position three creating wrong alignment. Wait for the stern quarter to align with where it will be in the slip before turning and backing into position four. So now let's go to the video and bring our vessel stern in. When the aisle is clear and our alignment is perfect, we wanna put both gear shifts into forward and it's decision making time at this point, we're going to decide if we're gonna back straight in or if there's wind and current, we would back angle in. In this instance, there's no wind or current, we're gonna back straight in. We give a little port forward to begin the turn and we're gonna start concentrating on our angle of approach, which is critical to successful stern in docking. Our turn is emphasized by putting our starboard engine in forward and port engine in reverse. We're gonna leave it in for a few moments. We're checking our alignment forward and back, and we're gonna go right back into neutral. We don't want to build up leeway by keeping the turn too sharply. So now we're going to make our adjustments. Starboard in forward gear, port in reverse. If we're getting too close to the vessels as we're making our turn, we're gonna make a correction. So if our bow is getting too close to the vessels on our port side, we're gonna just keep our port engine in reverse and take that starboard engine out of forward gear so we don't pull any closer. Conversely, if we were getting too close to the finger pier, we wanna take our port engine out of reverse put it into neutral, but keep that starboard engine in forward, so this way we're not stopping the turn. Again, we're keep concentrating on watching out for that leeway effect. The leeway effect is our vessel can go sideways toward the outside of the turn. So by giving mini input, just small little adjustments, we're allowing the leeway to dissipate. Many experienced and confident boaters can actually turn their entire bodies around in an about face and bring the stern in. They sort of drive the boat as if the stern is the bow. Again, you're gonna be stabilizing your vessel with these mini movements. You'll get a feel, you'll know when your vessel is ready. Look at the, where your bow is facing the opposite finger pier if you have something else that you can use as a reference point. And then that will help you with your bow and stern alignment. Notice the line handler's role at this point is critical. The line handler is giving you feedback as to how close you are to the finger pier, and you need to be very close. The line handler is protecting your vessel with the fender, but you have to keep that vessel close enough so that the line handler can easily step off. 
If you've backed into the slip and you're too far away from the finger pier, it's next to impossible to then get that vessel close in without running into the vessel on the right hand or starboard side. 